family fun day at Beano Town Lake. What could be better? Hey! <laughs> now then, Dennis, I'm not having you wandering off causing trouble. So while we're here, stay inside this circle where I can keep my eye on you. What? There's plenty to do. Here, dig a hole. Ah, this is the lie. Time to work on that tan. Dig a hole? Hmm. OK, Nasher old chum. How do you fancy a dabble at digging? <laughs> That'll keep him busy while we go and have some real fun. Come on, Nasher. <laughs> A flat-billed Beano Town Blue and a Pomeranian puff crested Dabbler. Time to put the cat amongst the pigeons. What? Buzz off! No! Time for action. Crumbs away! But you quack me up! <laughs> You'll pay for this, Dennis! <laughs> Get away! <laughs> Hello! What's this? Madam Gigi is off to grab some lunch. If you want your fortune told, I'll be back in 20 minutes. Uh, OK. This gives me a brain-stonkingly brilliant idea. Are you sure about this, Walter? Absolutely, positively sure. He's coming. He's coming. Operation Destiny Dennis is up and running. I think the bumper cars are up this way, Nasher. A fortune teller? <laughs> what a load of old rubbish. Little boy. Step inside my marquee of miracles and discover what the future has in store for you. What? Me? No way! Madame Gigi knows everything about you, Dennis. <gasps> How did you know me? What's going on here? <laughs> the mists are clearing. Wait! Yes! All is revealed! OK, Madame Gigi. Tell me what fun I have in store today. Today is not a day for jokes, menacing and teasing folks. Start behaving at the double, or you will be in big, big trouble. Act the way you really ought to, and be especially nice to Walter. If just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. A nice, peaceful day for Walter. <laughs> I have to make sure nothing nasty happens to Walter today, or I'm in big trouble. Hi, Dennis. Coming on the bumper cars? Uh, yeah, a absolutely. It's about time for some crash bang action. <laughs> Hooligans! 
<laughs> Typical Dennis. Still causing trouble. <laughs> oh. <laughs> if just one hair on his head is hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. Uh oh. I've got ya! Dennis, let go! Whoa! This isn't what I planned! Don't worry! I won't let anything happen to you! if I say so myself. Yahoo! Oh, look what you've done to my gorgeous geraniums! <laughs> Come here! Are you all right, Walter? <gasps> Thanks to you, Dennis. My nerves are in shreds. Oh, maybe I could buy you a nice ice cream to help calm you down. How's that, eh? All right, then. I can't see how that could cause any trouble. <sighs> Yummy! A chunky top chip cherry tutti fruity with extra sprinkles. <laughs> no! And while one of them was messing about in a boot, the other one knocked me head first into the lake. Have you seen what they did to my petunias? Oh, you whistle, you little hooligans. Now, now, don't worry. The second I clap eyes on those little scamps, I'll, I'll spring into action like a jet-propelled panther. There they are. Look, look. Oh, oh, horrible little Lauras. Oh, Dennis, you idiot. Now look what you've gone and done. I was just trying to keep you out of trouble, Walter. Whoa! Ha-ha! <laughs> what have we here? The little whippersnappers who are messing about in Madame Gigi's tent. The stars are not happy. Oh, oh, I didn't mean it. It was a silly joke. I just dressed up as you to spook Dennis. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, it was you all the time. I've wasted the whole day looking after you when I could have been having fun. Well, well now, hold it right there. Uh, are you telling me you were just trying to help him all along? Exactly. In the lake, with the kite and the wasp. Well then, that's a that's a different kettle of fish. Seems like it's Walter and and, and not Dennis who should be punished. Roll up, roll up, splat the scallywag. Step right up and have a go. Come on. No! Oh! <laughs> Bullseye! Yeah. And that's for me loopings. Ha <laughs> ha! For once it's not me up to me neck in trouble. <laughs> but you did think it was amusing to bury me up to my neck in sand. I uh, I uh I have an idea how to make this fun day even funnier. <laughs> well, Madam Gigi, I guess your prediction came right after all. What do you mean? If just one hair on his head gets hurt, you'll be getting your just dessert. I'm certainly getting my just dessert. <laughs> and it tastes like custard pie. Laundry, 
not a tent. If you want to go camping, Dad will take you. Won't you, dear? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, oh. Yahoo! Nasha, we're going camping! Yes, yes. Fit. I used to be top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack, you know. Yay! Camping is going to be so cool! So, what did you do in the Beano Town Wolf Pack, Dad? It was brilliant, Dennis. Living outdoors, finding our own food, recognizing all the different plants and animals. <gasps> really? What's this called? Oh, well, that's a. Uh, uh, that, that, that's a rare specimen, actually. Uh, let, let me What's think. that tree called? Yeah. And that bird? What well, kind of grass is this? What's that, Dad? Stinging nettles. Funny, that's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Oi, look what you've done to my bivouac. Your bivouac? A bivouac is a shelter made from branches, leaves and moss. Oh, I thought it was just a funny-looking tent. Tents are for softies. I made that myself. Name's Tough. Terry Tough. Well, it couldn't have been much good if it broke so easily. Bet my dad could build a better one. Oh, you think so? Yeah, he knows all about that outdoorsy stuff. He was top scout in the Beano Town Wolf Pack. Was he now? I suppose you're an expert at bivy building then. Absolutely. Possibly. Uh, I might have missed that meeting. But, Dad, I, I thought you said... But, yes, I do know a thing or two about the great outdoors. Go on, Dad, you tell him. Really? So, you wouldn't mind proving that then? <laughs> Not at all. This your tent? Yes, but I... Now put it back up. I'll build a new bivouac. See who's quickest. <laughs> Looks like one nil to tough, Nasha. <laughs> now, let's see how good you are at fire lighting, eh? Oh. <laughs> it's hard work, this. <laughs> of course, you know how to make herbal tea. I think Dad might have been exaggerating the whole Top Scout thing. <coughs> Not at all. In fact, I'm just getting warmed up. What's next? Way to go, Dad. You tell him. What's next? Oh, I think I've got just the thing. Bring it on. That's Mount Beano. First one to the top and back is the best outdoorsman. Agreed? Agreed! And one other thing. The loser leaves the campsite and never comes back. Well, if that's how you want it, fine. Are you sure you need all this stuff, Dad? <sighs> A Beano Town wolf cub should be prepared for anything. <laughs> See you later. Don't get lost. Wow, he's fast. Dad, we'd better get moving if we want to keep up. Dad? Just checking the direction, Dennis. Now, was it the wet finger into the wind means north? Or... Let's just head for Mount Beano. Or was it see which way the grass blows and divide by the angle of the sun? I can't remember. 
Oh, well, uh, let me think. That's... Ah! Oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, 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 oh back off, Billy. Oh, ah, oh, oh. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Gives me an idea, though. I don't believe it. They're gaining on me. But if something was to slow them down, by accident, of course. Oh, I'm suddenly very tired. Must be the mountain air. Goodness, was that me? Oops. <laughs> it didn't look so high from down there. Come on, Dad. We're almost at the top. Just don't look down. You're right, Dennis. Don't look down. Mustn't look down. Dad! <laughs> Again. Still, at least these flowers should cheer her up, eh, Nasha? Oi! 
Excuse me, madam. Do you know where I can buy some flowers, please? Hey, mister, I'll sell you these if you like. Plenty more where they came from, eh, Nasha? <laughs> oh, thanks very much. Uh-oh. Die, you! We're with the flowers. What? Hang on. Oh. Ah, you. No dogs. It's a toy. Anyone can see that. Look! You pull his ear to make him wag his tail, and you press his nose to make him bark. Ooh, that's good. Have a go! <laughs> Realistic, isn't it? So, you were sold the flowers by a boy with a dog, were you? I think I know who that is. Hello, Dennis. How's me bike? Bad news, Gran. I'm afraid it's smashed a bit. Smashed a bit? Oh, I was only doing 150. Oh, but never mind. Go and get us a cup of tea. All right, Gran. There they are! Dennis, just as I thought. Come on, come on! What's the matter with the lifts in this place? Get him! Shall I tell you? <gasps> right, Nasha, we're out of here. Nasha? Who's a lovely little baby, eh? Your dad is going to be ever so proud. And look, here he is. Hello, love. Oh, is that my little boy? Yeah, love. Oh, he's gorgeous. And look, he's got hair already. Oh, goody, goody, goo. Oh, goody, goody, goo. Here. I've uh, got something for you. Ooh, is it my favourite? <laughs> Might be. Nasha, ear boy! Oh, it is! Oh, you know how to spoil a girl. Mr. Mrs. Butcher, sorry to trouble you, but there's been an outbreak of baboonic plug. Baboonic plug? Ooh, I've never heard of that, have you, love? No, never. Hmm. Maybe it was bubonic plague. Oh, is it serious? <laughs> oh, 
Thought we'd just have a light snack to steady our nerves. That's very kind, love. Shame little Junior can't have any. He's taking it all in mind. Look how he moves his head. He's eating meat already. I reckon we've got us a child prodigy. Oh, that's nasher for you. One sniff of free grub and his brain turns to jelly. How are you going to get him back? Simple. We put this down the chimney, he bites on it, we pull him out. You serious? Who'd be daft enough to climb up on the roof with a fishing rod? What? The authorities are now searching Beano Town for the perpetrator of this wicked hoax, in which people feared they had caught bubonic plague. I'm sorry, that's bubonic plague. <laughs> Now what's got into him? I think he wants to crawl. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him go. Well, don't let him get dirty in the fireplace. <laughs> yeah, what's this? I got him! <laughs> Hang on, by <bye> face! <laughs> <laughs> Here he is, after him! Uh-oh! We could get into a lot of trouble for this. Why? We're only borrowing it. Huh? <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, love. But this is beginning to cost us a fortune. Better that than a baby who won't eat. <laughs> now what's got into him? Dennis, you are so busted. But it was an accident. It's all because they took my dog. Stop talking nonsense. You are coming with me, my boy, and I wouldn't want to be in your shoes when your dad finds out about this. Where are Mr and Mrs Butcher? You left your baby at the hospital. Our baby? Huh. What do you call us then? <laughs> you see? It's true. This is your baby here, Mrs. Butcher. Look! <laughs> oh, he's lovely. <laughs> Don't think that you're off the hook, Dennis. But what about his house? It doesn't matter. We're just so happy to have our baby. Oh, seems you are off the hook then. Whew. Nice of you to treat us like this, Mr Butcher. My pleasure, son. Thanks to you and the insurance, we've got our dream home. Are you sure Nasha won't have some? No, thanks. Not until he's lost a bit more weight. <laughs> Go on, my son! <laughs>
Oh, oh, I, I'm, I, I, I'm gonna throw the book at you for this, Dennis. Uh-oh, time for some amateur dramatics, Nasher. <laughs> Wait until I tell your father. Mmm, pizza would be great, Mum. What? What? What's Dennis been up to now, Sergeant Slipper? Well, he, uh, he, uh, he, uh, he ran over my Woof. foot and... Uh... Nasha, you know Dad doesn't like you eating out of his hat. What are you talking about, Dennis? Hmm. You know, he might have had a bit of a bump on the head. You think? <sighs> uh, maybe you should, uh, well, you should take him to the hospital for a once-over. Yes. Well, I suppose I'd better. Looks like we buffed our way out of trouble again, Nasha. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. No, not you, Nasha. Pets aren't allowed in hospital. <laughs> Nasha! So, what do you think's wrong with Dennis, Doctor? Hmm. His um, odd behaviour could be due to his fall. It had better be. Oh, this place is no fun. I wish Nasha was here. <laughs> Nasha! Oops! I could have sworn I... Let's get Dennis to the X-ray department. A quick scan should confirm what's going on up there. Hey, watch it! I'm not well, Mum. So, how is Dennis, Doctor? Hmm. Extraordinary. It appears your son has swallowed a dog. Nasha! Come away, Nasha. The doctor says Dennis needs total rest. No, I just need to go home. Well, out of the question, I'm afraid. We need to keep Dennis overnight for observation. Overnight? But, but... That's fine, Doctor. Dad! You heard what the doctor said, Dennis. Come on, Nasha. Time to get you home. <laughs> Now, the rules of my ward are no pets, no chocolate, no TV, no computer games, and no... Fun! This place is worse than school! No complaining! You're here to get better, not to have fun. Hi, Dennis! What? Walter! Do you know Walter? Yeah, unfortunately. Well, he's quite the star in our hospital radio. Yes, I'm their best volunteer DJ! Tune in to Walter's Radio Marathon tonight. It's going to be jazz-tastic. Ciao. Oh! Why didn't I just fess up and take the punishment? It couldn't have been worse than being stuck in here with DJ Walter. Now, Dennis, if you need anything, just buzz this buzzer and I'll come running. You will? Cool. Yes? Could I have some water, please? Certainly. Could you pass me a comic? What about your water? Could you... Anything else you'd like me to do before I buzz off? No, thank you. I hate this hospital! Oh, hang on. Meatballs! My favourite! There you are, Walter. That should keep you topped up for your radio show tonight. Oh, thank you. Oh, shame there's only steamed cabbage left. <laughs> Catch you later, listeners. Nasha! Good to see you. <laughs> Quick, hide! <laughs> Can I go home now, Doc? No, I'm afraid you aren't going anywhere for 24 hours. But there's nothing wrong with... 
That is, I feel much better. Honest. Rest is what you need, and rest is what you will get. No, I need to go home. Mum and Dad will be missing me. Oh, it's so peaceful without Dennis under our feet. I've told your mother and father that you'll be under observation until we see a real improvement. Improvement? Him? <laughs> Sounds like you'll be in here a while, Dennis. <laughs> fit into that. You don't need to. It's a bed bath. A what? But, but, I had a bath last month. Wait! I... Whoa! Oh, that's... Freezing! No dogs allowed. He is still very tired. He'll need much more rest. Oh, you could say that again. Oh, well, Dennis, I think you got off quite lightly, considering. Let me see now. While setting the world speed record for three boys and a dog on one skateboard, you managed to terrify Walter and mess up his sweater, <laughs> flatten Parky Bowles' prize roses, and turn yourselves into human pin cushions. Sorry, Mum. Well, I've calmed Parky and Walter down and I've offered to wash Walter's sweater, but be more careful in future, OK? Now run along, all of you. Thanks, Mum. And there's some chocolate chip cookies in the kitchen. Yum! 
your mum so cool, Dennis. She's always standing up for you. Yeah, I bet you've got her something really great for Mother's Day, haven't you? Eh? Mother's Day? I made my mum a vase. Well, more of a pie dish, really. Curly, when is Mother's Day? Tomorrow, of course. Oh, no! <laughs> Music. I'll write her a Mother's Day song. Let me see. Uh, yeah, Mum. Yeah, 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 Mum. You're so cool. Oh yeah. Uh, you really rule. Any ideas? Uh, na na na. Brilliant. Yeah, Mum. You're so cool. Oh yeah. You really rule. Na, na, na. For goodness' sake, Dennis, you'll wake me up. Stop horrible racket at once. So she doesn't like music after all. Back to the drawing board. <gasps> the drawing board? Yeah! Curly, weren't you top of the class in Mrs Creature's last art test? Well, yes, but... Uh... Hurry it up, Curly. I'm getting a crick in me neck. Won't be much longer, then. You can't hurry art, you know. What's that? I quite like it. That's because it doesn't look like me. It looks like a pie. It's not my fault. Even Leonardo da Vinci couldn't paint properly if he was being attacked by fleas. I can't give it to me, Mum. We'll have to think of something else. Everything we need for cheesecake or a pie face. Your mum will love it. OK, let's get going. Yeah. Really good pie face. What now? We have to leave it to set. Put it on the shelves. Dennis! <laughs> ah, there you are. It's supper time, OK? Hmm, uh. pity. It would have been the best yet. about borrowing some flowers from the Colonel's garden. Forgot a gift for Mother's Day? Yeah. That's bad. Your dad always gets me something nice. So, when Dad was a boy, what would you have liked him to get you? <laughs> well, he was a bit of a menace too, you know. I'd have been happy if he'd just kept out of trouble. Of course! That's it! Gran, you're a genius! the trick. This'll be a Mother's Day Mum will never forget. There you go, Mum. Happy Mother's Day. Oh! What's this, then? <laughs> oh! Wow! A way here games console! <laughs> and the latest game for it! Superbike GP Battle of the Champions! Oh! Thanks, son! See what it got me? Oh, he's such a good boy. Yes, he is. Happy Mother's Day, Mum. Tennis, how lovely. I didn't think you'd remember. Of course I did, Mum. And for your present, I'm going to stay out of trouble for a whole day. Well, that would be nice. Dennis, stay out of trouble. I'll believe it when I see it. Well, just stay in my room, OK? I can't get into any trouble there. 
Nasha, we'll just practice a few skateboard tricks. Dennis. <laughs> good, good. Tell you what, best of three. You're on. of getting into trouble there. <laughs> this is cool, Nasha. A total trouble-free zone. <laughs> oh, no! The window! <laughs> oh, only just... Hey, Dennis! We're going fishing in the park. Want to come? Yeah! Great idea! A nice quiet afternoon's fishing in the park, Nasha. I mean, it's not like skateboarding, is it? What could possibly go wrong? <sighs> Everything all right, dear? Still feeling relaxed? Mm, yes. Oh, almost too relaxed. Here go! Hey, my hat! Hey. <laughs> Must be caught on a root or something. So then he said, Pardon me, Al. Is that the car that you did new shoes? You're so witty. <laughs> Mum, how about you, dear? Have you enjoyed your day? Oh, yes. It's been so peaceful and quiet. Well, the day's nearly over, so you'd better brace yourself. Ah, Dennis. I'm guessing this is the end of Mother's Day, then. Yeah. Uh, sorry, Mum. Normal service has been resumed. Dennis. Yes. 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 